Chapter 1. The Formation of Deserts Deserts are formed due to a lack of rainfall in an area over a long period of time. This lack of rainfall leads to a scarcity of water, which is essential for the survival of plant and animal life. As a result, the land becomes dry and barren, with little vegetation and few signs of life. The formation of deserts can be attributed to various factors. One of the main factors is the presence of mountain ranges. When moist air from the ocean rises and reaches the mountains, it is forced to cool down, leading to the condensation and precipitation of moisture. As a result, the air becomes dry and descends on the other side of the mountains, creating a rain shadow effect. The lack of rainfall in these areas contributes to the formation of deserts. Another factor that contributes to the formation of deserts is the proximity to the equator. The areas near the equator receive direct sunlight throughout the year, causing the air to heat up and rise. As the air rises, it cools down and loses its moisture, resulting in little or no rainfall in these regions. This is why many deserts are located near the equator, such as the Sahara Desert in Africa and the Arabian Desert in the Middle East. Additionally, the presence of cold ocean currents can also contribute to the formation of deserts. Cold ocean currents cool down the air above them, reducing its ability to hold moisture. When this cooled air reaches the land, it results in little or no rainfall, creating arid conditions. This can be seen in the Atacama Desert in South America, which is influenced by the cold Humboldt current. Overall, the formation of deserts is a complex process that involves a combination of factors, including the lack of rainfall, geographical features like mountains, proximity to the equator, and the presence of cold ocean currents. These factors work together to create the arid and inhospitable conditions that are characteristic of deserts. In conclusion, deserts are formed as a result of a lack of rainfall in an area over an extended period of time. This scarcity of water leads to dry and barren landscapes with little vegetation and limited animal life. The formation of deserts is influenced by factors such as mountains, proximity to the equator, and cold ocean currents. Understanding the formation of deserts is crucial in order to appreciate and protect these unique and fragile ecosystems. So next time you find yourself in a desert, take a moment to marvel at its formation and appreciate the incredible resilience of life in such harsh conditions. Question how are deserts formed? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2 Desert Climates Desert climates are known for their extreme heat and low humidity. The scorching sun beats down relentlessly on the vast stretches of arid land, creating a hostile environment that few can withstand. In this chapter, we delve deeper into the unique characteristics of these unforgiving landscapes. As the sun rises over the horizon, its rays pierce through the thin, dry air. The temperature quickly begins to soar, reaching unbearable heights by midday. The blistering heat saps the strength from any living being unfortunate enough to find themselves in this harsh terrain. In desert climates, the lack of moisture in the air leads to low humidity levels. The arid conditions cause water to evaporate rapidly, leaving behind a parched and desolate landscape. The air feels dry and hot, making it difficult to breathe and causing skin to crack and become dehydrated. Life in these harsh climates has adapted remarkably to survive. Plants that thrive in desert conditions, such as cacti and succulents, have evolved specialized mechanisms to conserve water. They have developed thick, waxy coatings on their leaves to prevent water loss through evaporation. Some even store water within their stems or have deep root systems to tap into underground water sources. As the day progresses, the temperature continues to rise, turning the desert into a furnace. The relentless sun beats down, creating shimmering waves of heat that distort the landscape. Mirages tantalize the weary traveler, offering false hope of water and shade, 
only to vanish as they draw near. Animals, in desert climates, have also adapted to survive in these extreme conditions. They are experts at conserving water and minimizing heat stress. Some animals, like the camel, have specialized humps that store fat, not water, as commonly believed. The stored fat acts as an energy reserve, allowing the camel to go long periods without food or water. Other desert dwellers, such as snakes and lizards, are masters of blending in with their surroundings. Their sandy or rocky colors make them nearly invisible against the desert backdrop, protecting them from predators and the scorching sun. As the sun begins to set, the temperature finally begins to drop, providing some respite from the relentless heat. Nightfall in the desert brings a stark contrast to the day. The once scorching terrain becomes a frigid wasteland as temperatures plummet, reminding all who venture here of the harshness of this unforgiving environment. Despite the challenges posed by desert climates, they are also places of awe-inspiring beauty. The vast, open vistas stretch as far as the eye can see, with towering sand dunes and rocky formations shaping the landscape. The colors of the desert change with the shifting light, creating a mesmerizing kaleidoscope of oranges, reds, and yellows. In this chapter, we have explored the unique characteristics of desert climates, the extreme heat, low humidity, and the adaptations of life that have evolved to survive in these inhospitable landscapes. It is a delicate balance between survival and adaptation, where only the toughest and most resilient thrive. The mysteries and wonders of desert climates continue to captivate and challenge us, reminding us of the incredible resilience and beauty found in the most unlikely of places. Question, what characterizes desert climates? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Desert Landscapes. Desert landscapes are vast, stretching as far as the eye can see. The arid terrain is dominated by sand dunes and deep canyons carved over centuries by the forces of wind and water. The relentless sun beats down on the golden sands, casting a warm glow that illuminates the breathtaking beauty of this harsh environment. As I ventured deeper into the desert, the towering sand dunes rose before me like majestic giants. They're smooth. Sculpted surfaces seemed to ripple in the heat, creating an otherworldly illusion. I marveled at the ever-shifting patterns etched into the sand as if an artist's brush had meticulously painted each curve and line. Climbing to the top of a dune, I gazed out at the vast expanse of the desert below. The view was awe-inspiring, with waves of sand stretching towards the horizon, punctuated only by the occasional scrubby bushes and twisted trees, clinging to life against all odds. The silence was deafening, broken only by the soft whispers of the wind as it caressed the dunes. Descending into a deep canyon, I found myself enveloped by towering walls of rock, carved by the relentless force of water and time. The jagged edges and sheer cliffs created a sense of rugged beauty. The harsh desert elements had painted the rocks in various hues warm oranges and deep reds, contrasting with the stark blue sky above. As I wandered deeper into the canyon, I stumbled upon a hidden oasis. A small freshwater spring emerged from a crevice in the rocks, creating a pool of crystal clear water. The sight was a welcome surprise, relieving my parched throat and rejuvenating my weary body. It was a reminder that life can flourish even in the harshest of landscapes. Surrounded by the beauty of the desert, I couldn't help but feel a sense of reverence for this vast, ancient land. It was a place where time seemed to stand still, where the harshness of the environment had molded its inhabitants into resilient beings. The desert landscapes held countless stories, whispered in the wind and etched into the sands. It was a place of solitude and reflection, where one could truly connect with nature and find a sense of peace. The simplicity of the desert, with its stark beauty and raw elements, stripped away the complexities of daily life, leaving only the essence of existence. As the sun began its descent, 
casting long shadows across the desert, I knew it was time to leave this mesmerizing landscape. I carried with me the memories of the sand dunes, the canyons, and the hidden oasis, forever imprinted in my mind and heart. The desert landscapes teach us valuable lessons about resilience, adaptability, and the transformative power of nature. They remind us of the delicate balance between life and survival, and the beauty that can arise from the harshest conditions. The desert is a place of stark contrasts and unfathomable wonders, inviting us to explore, learn, and appreciate the miracles that exist in the most unlikely of places. Question, what are some common features of desert landscapes? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4, Animals in the Desert. Animals in the desert have adapted to survive in the harsh and unforgiving environment. They possess remarkable abilities that allow them to thrive in the scorching heat and sparse vegetation. One such animal is the camel, a symbol of endurance and resilience. In the vast expanse of the desert, a group of camels trekked across the sandy terrain, their long legs gracefully navigating the uneven ground. Their thick coats protected them from the intense sun, and their humps acted as natural reservoirs, storing water to sustain them during their long journeys. With each step, they left behind deep imprints in the soft sand marking their presence in this desolate landscape. As the day wore on, the camels sawed shade under the sparse patches of scrubby bushes that dotted the landscape. Their keen eyes scanned the horizon for any signs of water or food. It was in these moments of stillness that the true beauty of the desert came alive. Among the rocks and crevices, tiny lizards scurried about, their slender bodies blending seamlessly with the sandy backdrop. Their ability to camouflage themselves was astounding, allowing them to become virtually invisible to predators. With lightning-fast reflexes, they darted across the rocks, their long tails twisting and turning with each quick movement. The lizards, too, had their own adaptations to survive in the desert. They weren't able to go for long periods without water, relying on the moisture they gained from their food to sustain them. Their scaly skin was designed to minimize water loss, acting as a protective barrier against the dry desert air. As evening fell and the temperature slightly cooled, the desert came alive with the sounds of the wilderness. In the distance, the eerie howls of coyotes echoed through the canyons, their melodic calls carrying across the vast expanse. The camels lifted their heads, their ears perked as they listened to the haunting melodies of their fellow desert dwellers. In the midst of this symphony, a lone lizard basked on a sun-warmed rock, its body stretched out, absorbing the last rays of the setting sun. The lizard's skin shimmered under the golden light, blending seamlessly with the sand. With its agile tongue, it flaked out to capture an unsuspecting insect, savoring the taste of its rare, precious meal. The desert was a challenging place for animals where survival was a constant battle. But amidst the adversity, there was a delicate balance, a dance of life and death. The majestic camels and the elusive lizards were testament to the extraordinary adaptations required to thrive in this extreme environment. As the night sky unfolded its star-studded canvas over the desert, the animals retreated to their hidden corners, seeking shelter from the cold desert winds. They huddled together, finding solace in the warmth of their companions. In the silence of the night, the desert exuded a sense of mystery and wonder. In this chapter on animals in the desert, we glimpse the incredible inhabitants of this arid landscape. From the enduring camels to the stealthy lizards, each creature possesses its own unique qualities and adaptations. It is a testament to the unyielding power of nature and the remarkable diversity that can flourish even in the harshest of environments. Question, what animals can survive in deserts? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Plant Life in Deserts In the desolate expanse of the desert, where the scorching sun beat down relentlessly, plant life fought a constant battle for survival. Adaptations were key, 
as these hardy plants had to endure long periods without water and withstand the harsh elements. One such plant, the cactus, stood tall amidst the arid landscape. Its thick, waxy skin acted as a protective barrier against water loss. The cactus had evolved to store water, utilizing its fleshy stems and spiky leaves as reservoirs. These unique adaptations allowed it to thrive in the desert, even during the driest of times. As the wind swept through the barren terrain, tiny seeds scattered across the sandy ground. These resilient seeds lay dormant, waiting for the rare occurrence of rain to awaken them from their slumber. Once the water arrived, the seeds sprouted and grew with astonishing speed, taking advantage of the fleeting opportunity to absorb the life-giving moisture. One such seed belonged to the desert wildflower, a vibrant burst of color in an otherwise monotonous landscape. Its delicate petals unfurled, revealing a stunning display of hues, fiery oranges, brilliant yellows, and soft pinks. This ephemeral flower was a testament to the resilience of plant life in the desert, as it bloomed and faded in a matter of days, conserving its energy for the next cycle of growth. In the vast desert plains, another remarkable plant, the desert olive, clung to life. Its small, dense foliage provided shade and shelter for a variety of desert creatures seeking respite from the unrelenting sun. The desert olive's leaves were covered in a waxy coating, protecting them from excessive water loss. Its deep root system reached down into the earth, tapping into hidden water sources deep below the surface. Among the rocky outcrops and sand dunes, the prickly pear cactus flourished. This iconic plant boasted long, sharp spines that deterred thirsty animals from stealing its precious water supply. Its paddle-shaped pads contained juicy flesh that served as a water reservoir, allowing the cactus to survive extended droughts. This adaptation was a marvel of nature, as it not only sustained the prickly pear, but also provided a vital source of hydration for desert-dwelling animals. In the heart of the desert, a solitary oasis stood as a testament to the ingenuity of plant life. Palm trees stretched toward the sky, their luscious green fronds providing shade and sanctuary for weary travelers. The palm trees had developed an intricate network of roots that reached deep into the sandy soil, absorbing every precious drop of water that seeped into the underground aquifers. As the sun began to set, casting an orange glow across the desert, the plant life retreated, conserving their energy for another day under the scorching sun. Each plant had its own unique adaptations, honed over years of evolution, allowing them to survive and thrive in this unforgiving environment. In this chapter on plant life in the desert, we have witnessed the extraordinary adaptations that enable these resilient organisms to withstand the harsh conditions. From cacti with their water-storing abilities to vibrant desert wildflowers and mighty palm trees, each plant plays a vital role in maintaining the delicate balance of life in the arid desert. Nature's ingenuity is on display, reminding us of the astounding diversity and beauty that can emerge from the most challenging of environments. Question, how do plants survive in deserts? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Desert Ecosystems Desert ecosystems, as we delve into the intricate web of desert ecosystems, we discover a fascinating tapestry of interactions among living organisms. The barren desert may seem devoid of life, but beneath its scorching surface lies a delicate balance of survival and adaptation. In this vast expanse of arid land, where the sun's rays beat down relentlessly, the sagebrush stands tall, its silvery green leaves rustling in the hot desert wind. This hardy plant, with its deep taproot, extracts nourishment from the barren soil and withstands the blistering heat. As the sagebrush spreads its roots, it creates small pockets of shade, offering protection to smaller plants and animals seeking refuge from the intense sun. Among the rugged rock formations, 
the desert iguana scurried, its quick movements blending with the sandy terrain. This atoll reptile relied on its spiny scales to deflect the harsh sunlight, using its camouflage to blend into the desert environment. With each step, the desert iguana stirred up clouds of sand, aiding in the dispersion of seeds and contributing to the cycle of life in the desert. In the cool of the evening, a family of kangaroo rats emerged from their burrows, their long hind legs propelling them effortlessly across the desert floor. These remarkable rodents had adapted to survive without water for extended periods, deriving moisture from the seeds they consumed. Their intricate burrow systems provided not only protection, but also a refuge from the scorching desert temperatures. As night fell, the desert came alive with the symphony of nocturnal creatures. The howls of coyotes echoed through the still air, their sharp senses enabling them to hunt efficiently in the dark. Scorpions, with their venomous stingers, scuttled across the sand, preying on small insects and maintaining the delicate balance of the desert food chain. High above, in the vast expanse of the sky, a golden eagle soared. This majestic bird of prey, its keen eyesight piercing through the desert haze, hunted for small mammals and reptiles below. Its presence served as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living organisms in the wide desert ecosystem, each playing a unique role in sustaining life in this harsh environment. In the desert oases, amidst the towering palm trees, a community of native people thrived. They had learned to harness the limited resources of the desert, using the water from the underground aquifers to sustain their crops and livestock. The desert dwellers had a profound understanding of the delicate balance of the ecosystem, employing sustainable practices that ensured the survival of both their community and the fragile desert environment. As we venture deeper into the intricate complexities of desert ecosystems, we begin to appreciate the resilience and adaptability of these living organisms. From the tenacious sagebrush to the agile desert iguana and the resourceful kangaroo rat, each species has evolved to not only survive but also thrive in the unforgiving environment of the desert. The interactions between these organisms form a delicate tapestry interwoven with a delicate balance of predator and prey, adaptation and survival. It is a testament to the remarkable resilience of life in the face of adversity, reminding us of the awe-inspiring diversity and beauty that can emerge from the most challenging of environments. Question, what is an ecosystem in the desert? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7, Desertification. The desertification of once fertile land was a stark reminder of the destructive consequences of deforestation. The arid desert stretched out as far as the eye could see, its sandy dunes devoid of any signs of life. In this unforgiving landscape, the effects of human activity became painfully evident. Once, this area had been covered in lush vegetation and teeming with wildlife. But over the years, as trees were cut down for timber and land was cleared for agriculture, the delicate balance of the ecosystem was disrupted. Without the roots of the trees to hold the soil in place, it was carried away by the wind and eroded by the rains. As the land became barren, the wind held through the deserted plains, picking up the loose soil and swirling it into vast dust storms. The once fertile ground turned into lifeless desolation, unable to support any form of vegetation. The animals that had once thrived in this habitat were forced to migrate in search of sustenance, leaving only a void in their wake. The consequences of human actions were undeniable. The people who had relied on this land for their livelihoods now faced an uncertain future. The once thriving community now struggled to find water and food, their crops withering away in the relentless heat. As the desert expanded, Swallowing up their homes and livelihoods, they were left with no choice but to seek refuge elsewhere. The government, recognizing the severity of the situation, implemented measures to combat desertification. 
efforts were made to replant trees and restore the once abundant vegetation. The people, too, began to adopt sustainable farming practices, utilizing drip irrigation and terrace farming to conserve water and prevent further soil erosion. Slowly, but surely, the land began to show signs of rejuvenation. The reforested areas became green, with new growth, providing a glimmer of hope for the once devastated community. Through their collective efforts and a deep understanding of the delicate balance of the ecosystem, they were able to reverse the effects of deforestation and breathe new life into the barren desert. As time passed, the results of their hard work became evident. The once desolate landscape transformed into a vibrant oasis, with an abundance of flora and fauna. The air, once choked with dust and despair, became crisp and filled with the sweet scent of blossoming flowers. Birds returned to nest in the trees, their songs filling the air with melodies of joy. The community, too, flourished once again. With the restoration of fertile land, they were able to sustain themselves and thrive. Their unity in the face of adversity and their determination to heal the scars caused by deforestation were a testament to the human spirit's ability to repair the damage it had inflicted. The story of this chapter served as a cautionary tale about the consequences of actions and the importance of preserving the delicate balance of the ecosystem. It highlighted the devastating effects of deforestation and the subsequent desertification, but it also showcased the resilience of nature and the power of collective action. In the face of adversity, this community stood strong, proving that with determination and a deep respect for the environment, it is possible to restore what was lost and create a future filled with hope and sustainability. Question, what is desertification? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Survival in the Desert Survival in the desert was a daunting challenge, requiring an unwavering determination and a deep understanding of how to conserve water and protect oneself from the harsh elements. The scorching sun beat down on the arid landscape, shimmering heat waves rising from the sand dunes as far as the eye could see. Sarah and Ben, two explorers, found themselves stranded in this merciless desert after their expedition took an unexpected turn. They had limited supplies, and knew that their survival depended on making every drop of water count. With the harsh reality looming over them, they had to quickly adapt to their new environment. Conserving water became their top priority. Every morning, they would collect dew from leaves and condensation on rocks, carefully storing it in their canteens. They learned to ration their water, taking small sips throughout the day to keep themselves hydrated. When they stumbled upon a rare desert oasis, they were careful not to waste a single drop, using every last bit to replenish their supplies. Protective clothing also played a crucial role in their survival. Sarah and Ben covered themselves from head to toe, shielding their skin from the scalding sun. They wore loose, lightweight clothing to provide ventilation and minimize sweat, which was a precious resource in their desert predicament. They also used wide-brimmed hats and scarves to protect their faces and necks from the relentless rays of the sun. Navigating the vast desert became a constant challenge. The sand dunes shifted with every gust of wind, creating an ever-changing landscape that seemed to lead them in circles. Sarah and Ben relied on their instincts and the position of the sun to guide them, but the desert's deceptive nature made it difficult to stay on track. They pressed on, determined to find their way out of this desolate labyrinth. As they pushed forward, the vast expanse of sand began to take its toll on their minds. The relentless heat and the monotonous scenery tested their resilience, but they refused to give in to despair. They reminded themselves of their purpose, their drive to survive, and the promise of rescue that awaited them on the other side. Days turned into weeks, and their journey became increasingly arduous. They faced treacherous sandstorms that whipped through the air, reducing visibility to mere inches. 
Sarah and Ben huddled together, using their bodies as shields against the whipping sand, their protective clothing providing a barrier against the abrasive particles. Through sheer determination, Sarah and Ben finally stumbled upon a small settlement on the outskirts of the desert. The weary travelers were welcomed with open arms by the local inhabitants, who had managed to carve out a life in this inhospitable environment. The close-knit community understood the art of survival in the desert, and they offered Sarah and Ben a safe haven. As the explorers recovered from their ordeal, they learned valuable lessons about the importance of conserving water, wearing protective clothing, and never underestimating the power of the desert. They shared their own stories of survival, trading tips and techniques that could benefit both communities. In this shared knowledge, they found strength and hope for the future. Sarah and Ben's journey in the desert was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. By conserving water, wearing protective clothing, and navigating the treacherous landscape, they not only survived, but also forged a connection with a community that had learned to thrive in the harshest of conditions. Together, they stood as a living example of the triumph of human adaptability and the unwavering will to survive. Question, how do humans survive in desert environments? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, Ancient Desert Civilizations In the heart of the desert, where the scorching sun kissed the sand dunes, lay the remnants of ancient desert civilizations. Chapter 9 in Sarah and Ben's journey brought them face to face with the enigmatic legacy of the past the ancient Egyptians and the Navi teams. As they ventured deeper into the vast desert, the explorers stumbled upon an excavation site where archaeologists worked tirelessly to uncover the secrets of these long-lost civilizations. The sand, once holding the whispers of forgotten tales, now revealed fragments of a rich history. Sarah and Ben were captivated by the artifacts unearthed before them, each piece an intricate puzzle that painted a vivid picture of life in ancient times. Amongst the ruins, the explorers marveled at the grandeur of the ancient Egyptians. They admired the vast temples and awe-inspiring pyramids that stood as testaments to their architectural brilliance. The vibrant hieroglyphics etched on the walls told stories of pharaohs and their beliefs in the afterlife. Sarah and Ben couldn't help but be in awe of this ancient civilization's deep reverence for the gods and their remarkable achievements in engineering and artistry. Moving on, they encountered the remnants of the Nabateans, a lesser-known desert civilization with a fascinating history. The intricate rock-carved city of Petra emerged before their eyes, a hidden gem nestled amidst towering sandstone cliffs. Sarah and Ben were spellbound by the city's craftsmanship and highly advanced engineering, evident in the intricate water channels and intricate architecture that stood as a testament to their ingenuity. As they explored further, Sarah and Ben unearthed stories of the Nabateans and their vibrant trading empire, the Nabateans had mastered the harsh desert environment, establishing vital trade routes connecting Arabia to ancient civilizations like Rome and Greece. The explorers were amazed at how this ancient civilization had thrived in such challenging surroundings, utilizing their keen understanding of the desert's resources to create a prosperous society. They marveled at the grandeur of the ancient tombs, feeling a deep sense of connection to those who had come before. The silence of the desert whispered secrets of bygone eras, and Sarah and Ben found themselves transported back in time. They imagined bustling marketplaces, vibrant caravans, and the echoes of ancient languages. As they delved deeper into the mysteries of these desert civilizations, Sarah and Ben found a profound appreciation for the resilience and ingenuity of those who had forged a life in this harsh environment. They realized that these ancient cultures had navigated the desert's challenges through a deep understanding of its resources, just as they had learned to conserve water and protect themselves against the relentless sun. The chapter on ancient desert civilizations offered them a unique glimpse into the past, 
a chance to discover the legacies left behind by those who had once thrived in these unforgiving landscapes. It reminded them that despite the passage of time, the desert remained a place of wonder, secrecy, and endless stories waiting to be unearthed. With newfound admiration and respect, Sarah and Ben continued their journey, carrying with them the indelible mark of the ancient desert civilizations. Question. Which ancient civilizations thrived in desert regions? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10. Unexplored Deserts. In their quest for knowledge and adventure, Sarah and Ben found themselves standing at the threshold of unexplored deserts. This chapter marked a new phase in their journey as they embarked on an expedition to uncover the secrets hidden within the vast and untamed stretches of sand. With their backpacks filled with supplies and a burning curiosity in their hearts, Sarah and Ben set off into the unknown. The scorching sun beat down on them, and the sand shifted beneath their feet as they ventured deeper into the uncharted territory. The desolation of these deserts evoked a sense of both exhilaration and trepidation. As they ventured further, their perseverance paid off with exciting new discoveries. Ancient cave dwellings, previously untouched by modern explorers, emerged from the sands like forgotten oases. The walls of these dwellings were adorned with intricate paintings and carvings, offering a glimpse into the lives of those who had sought shelter in these desolate lands centuries ago. The explorers felt a profound sense of awe and respect for the resilience of these desert dwellers. They marveled at their ingenuity in finding ways to survive in such harsh conditions, adapting to the extreme temperatures and limited resources. The walls of the cave dwellings whispered stories of a forgotten community, their struggles and triumphs etched into the very fabric of the desert. As Sarah and Ben continued their expedition, they stumbled upon an ancient oasis hidden amongst the dunes. A cluster of palm trees stood tall, their emerald leaves providing a stark contrast against the sandy backdrop. Crystal clear water flowed from a natural spring, offering a refreshing respite from the arid surroundings. But it was what lay beneath the surface that truly astonished the explorers. In the depths of the oasis, they discovered an underground network of tunnels and chambers intricately carved by an unknown civilization. The walls were adorned with mesmerizing murals depicting scenes of daily life, vibrant colors jumping out even after centuries of silence. Excitement coursed through their veins as they delved deeper into the labyrinth of underground passages. Each step brought them closer to uncovering the enigmatic history of this hidden world. The further they ventured, the more their understanding of the desert's mysteries expanded, leaving no doubt that these unexplored deserts held countless tales waiting to be unearthed. With every new discovery, Sarah and Ben's fascination grew. The unexplored deserts promised endless possibilities, with each footstep potentially leading to a treasure trove of knowledge. The explorers relished in the thrill of the unknown, appreciating the solitude and serenity the deserts offered as they continued their relentless pursuit of understanding. In the face of the unexplored, they embraced the challenges that lay ahead. The harsh conditions and unrelenting sun rays were merely hurdles in their path. Armed with their unwavering determination, Sarah and Ben treaded carefully, delicately unraveling the secrets woven into the fabric of the deserts. With each new discovery, they added fragments to the ever-growing mosaic of human history. The unexplored deserts became more than just a geographical location, they became a symbol of the resilience and unyielding spirit of exploration. As they pressed on, Sarah and Ben knew that even though they were mere individuals in the grand tapestry of time, their contributions to unearthing these ancient mysteries would forever leave a mark on the world's understanding of the unexplored deserts. Question, are there still unexplored deserts? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11, Protecting Desert Environments As Sarah and Ben delved deeper into their exploration of the unexplored deserts, they couldn't help but notice 
the fragility of these unique and delicate ecosystems. The harsh conditions and limited resources made it clear that protecting desert environments was essential to preserve their beauty and biodiversity for future generations. Driven by a newfound understanding, Sarah and Ben made it their mission to contribute to conservation efforts in these arid lands. They began by immersing themselves in research, seeking guidance from experts and learning about sustainable practices that could be implemented in these challenging environments. Armed with knowledge, the duo began implementing their conservation goals. They established a camp in a strategic location designed to have minimal impact on the fragile desert ecosystem. Every decision, from waste management to energy consumption, was carefully considered to minimize their footprint. Water conservation became a top priority. Sarah and Ben installed rainwater collection systems to capture every precious drop that fell from the sky. They also educated themselves on efficient irrigation techniques, ensuring that the plants they nurtured received just the right amount of water needed to thrive in the desert's extreme conditions. The explorers also recognized the importance of protecting the desert's diverse flora and fauna. They dedicated their efforts to identifying and documenting the unique species they encountered, mindful of not disturbing their natural habitats. Through their meticulous documentation, Sarah and Ben hoped to create awareness of the incredible biodiversity that called these deserts home. To further their conservation efforts, Sarah and Ben engaged with local communities and organized workshops on sustainable practices. They emphasized the importance of responsible tourism and educated visitors on the significance of respecting and preserving the desert environment. By raising awareness and promoting conservation, they hoped to inspire others to protect and cherish these delicate ecosystems. In collaboration with environmental organizations, Sarah and Ben embarked on restoration projects. They worked diligently to rehabilitate areas that had been damaged by human activities or natural occurrences. By introducing native plants and monitoring their growth, they aimed to restore balance to the desert landscape and recreate thriving habitats for the creatures that relied on them. As their work gained momentum, Sarah and Ben witnessed the positive impact of their conservation efforts firsthand. Endangered species began to return to rehabilitated areas, and the desert's natural beauty seemed to flourish under their watchful eyes. Their dedication and passion proved that protecting desert environments was not an insurmountable challenge but a responsibility that could be shared by all. Through their journey, they encountered individuals, both local and international, who shared their vision of preserving these unique landscapes. Together, they developed strategies for sustainable development, finding innovative ways to support the local economy while maintaining the delicate balance of the desert ecosystem. Sarah and Ben's commitment to protecting desert environments became a catalyst for change. Their story spread far and wide, inspiring others to take action and prioritize conservation in their own lives. Governments and organizations began to invest in research and sustainability initiatives, recognizing the irreplaceable value of these untamed deserts. The explorers knew that their work was far from finished. They understood that preserving these sublime landscapes would require a continuous effort and the support of future generations. With unwavering determination, Sarah and Ben embraced the challenges that lay ahead, motivated by the belief that their conservation efforts would foster a deeper understanding and appreciation for the unexplored deserts and the remarkable life they harbored within their sandy embrace. Question, how can we protect desert environments?